students all over Syria, good morning and welcome to a new lesson for the 12th grade students from Imar series. I'm here today with my lovely students to, produce, to introduce to you and highlight some of the main points regarding Unit 1, Module 1. So this lesson is presented by me, teacher Ola Sabah from Ahmed Marian High School in Yer Sheikh Said and supervised by teacher Ola Moy. Now, before I start my lesson, let me please give my lovely students the opportunity to introduce themselves and have a small talk. Yes, please. Good morning. My name is Hadil Hassan. I'm going from Dwar Sheikh Saad School to participate in today's lesson. And we're happy to have you here with us, Hadil. Thanks. Tell me, Hadil, what's your favorite subject? My favorite subject is English. English, interesting. And since English is your favorite subject, let me give you a piece of advice. Is you should always listen to English all the time so that you can maintain your fluency and your good English. Yeah, you're right. I do that. Thanks for advice. You're most welcome. welcome. Yes. Next, please. Hello. My Hello. name is Karina Mustafa. Welcome I am Karina. a student in Ahmed Maryam High School. I am so happy to be here with you. We are so happy to have you here with us as well. How are you feeling today, Karim? Are you still sick? I am still sick, uh, but I know uh, I want uh, to be here with you. We're so happy to have you here with us. So probably you should maybe drink some warm water, warm drinks. Okay? Okay. Yes. Next, please. Hello. Hi. Hello. My name is Yasser Ansi. Welcome, Yasser. I'm very happy to be with us. Thank you so much. We are very happy to have you here with us as well. Thank you so much. Yes. Next, please. Hello, everybody. I'm, Hello. I'm Zahra Salami. I'm Welcome, coming, Zahra. I'm coming from Dwer Sheikh Saad High School, and it's my pleasure to be here with you. It's our pleasure as well. Tell me, Zahra, what are your plans for the weekend? I'm planning to hang out with my friend and have fun. But you're a good student, right? Yes. So I think like maybe probably instead of wasting your time hanging out with your friends, you should save your time and study, prepare for your exam because they are on the corner, right? What do you think? Mm, that's true. I haven't thought about uh, that before. Thank you for uh, advice. You're most welcome. Yes, next please. Hello, my Hi. name is Angel Mahmoud. You're I welcome, like Angie. films and listening to the music all the time. Listening to music all the time? Um, okay, yeah. so, yeah. How about studying? I think you should instead of listening to music uh, all the time maybe you should study as well are you uh, doing that maybe you're right uh, but i like watching films okay have fun thank you so much and you're most welcome to be here I'm so happy and proud of all of you so as you can see here the lesson is unit one module one and the title of the lesson is life choices now as you know we all have to, at, at some point, we have to make decisions, maybe critical decisions related to our future career, okay? Yeah. Now, reaching that point is not easy. You have to go through many stages, mental, mental stages and maybe like emotional ones as well, okay? So, our lesson for today is about this topic, life choices, okay? Now, before we say, we let me just introduce the main ideas we're going to focus on. Ready? Yeah, ready. Okay, so listening, we're going to listen for specific information. Now, after that, we're going to talk about a job. Okay? Later on, we're going to have reading about future career. After that, we have, we have pronunciation about homophones. Then comes the vocabulary word organizations and Facebook apps. After that comes the grammar and for everyday English we have already applied that when we had our little our small talk. Now finally we're going to talk about writing section and it's about description of a dream job. Ready guys? Right. Okay so let's jump right in. Now before we start the reading we have here four questions Okay, about your job in the future. I want you to silently read the questions. Okay, then I'm going to pick one of you so you can ask one of your 
colleagues that for question. Okay? Yes. So. so who can answer this question? Angie? Yeah. Can you answer this question? Yeah. Okay, so who's going to ask Angie the first question, please? Yes, yes. go ahead. So Angie, what was your dream child as a child? Yeah, what was your dream job as a child, Angie? Uh, my dream job as a child was to be a flight attendant in the future. Flight attendant, wow, interesting. Okay, yes, so question number two. Me. Yes, yeah, sir, go ahead, please. What attracts you to this job? Yeah, uh, I have always dreamed to travel abroad and uh, get to uh, know new people and different cultures. In addition to my big love uh, to the English language. Wow, very interesting. Thank you. Okay, question number three. Who can ask Angie? Question can I yes. Go ahead, please, Zahra. Yes. Uh, who inspired uh, you uh, to uh, change uh, to uh, choose it? Uh, actually, no. nobody inspired me. Uh, I just love it. You just love it. Okay. Yes. And final one. Last question. Yes. Finally, uh, what do you hope to accomplish through your future job? I hope I can gain uh, more uh, experience about the world. Yes. Uh, moreover, uh, to hope uh, you I hope, hope yeah. uh, to, re uh, to earn a good sum of money. Yeah, money is good. Okay. Hopefully, you, you, I hope that you one day fulfill your dream, Angie. Now, so now, guys, thank you so much. Now let's move on to the next section. Okay. Before the listening, we, there are three questions that I want you to think of so that when you're done answering the questions, I might pick one of you to answer the questions, okay? So, read them silently and try to write down some answers. Okay, so how about Karina? Yes, can you answer the question? Yes. Okay, first question is, if you have a chance to spend a year working or studying in another country, which country would you choose and why? I would choose uh, Los Angeles. Los Angeles, yes. In America. To pursue my higher study. Yeah, I hope you fulfill this dream. Uh, now, number two, what things would you like to do there? I would like to go uh, sightseeing and camping. Yeah, sounds fun as well. Hopefully I'm going to see you there. Okay. Number three, what kind of problems do you think you might face? I might face uh, problems adapting to different cultures and uh, suffering from homesickness. Yeah, homesickness is a big issue that you need to take care of if you go there. Thank you so much. Now for the listening part, okay? We have seven questions. I want you now to read carefully and go through the seven questions, okay? So that when you listen to the audio, you can spot the answers we're looking for, okay? Okay. okay. So these are the questions. Now.
we have a lot of fun. Are your students surprised that an English teacher is teaching them that? Yes, very. But they're also really happy to find that a foreigner loves Arabic music and understands something from their culture. What's the best thing about living in Syria so far? The people. The hospitality of the people here is absolutely amazing. Twelve grade listening script, unit one. Okay, guys, ready to answer the question? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, so before we answer the questions, I want to remind you that listening to English is very important and crucial for you to develop your speaking skills. Okay? So try to listen to English more often. Okay? Now, question number one Why did she choose Damascus? Who can answer this one? Yes, Siasa, yes, please. Because, so <coughs> because Sophia and her husband. I've always loved the Arabic culture and the language. Yes, they have always loved the Arabic, the Arabic culture and the language. Good job. Now, question number two. Why did she want to take a year off? Yes, Zahra? According to where I have to hear before, because she needed uh, to uh, change the first one, uh, and uh, she needed to learn drawing. Yes, yeah, so she she needed a change and she needed to to learn drawing. Good job. Now she read Louis Selma. Okay, Angie. Uh, she is an art uh, teacher. Yes. So according to the audio, she is an art teacher. Yeah. Okay. Question number four. Why does Sophia think Arabic is a difficult language? Mm. Yes, go ahead, Hadi. Because it takes a long time to learn and to speak the language, and there are many different sounds in the language. Yeah. Now, which one do you think is more difficult, Arabic or English? Arabic. Arabic? Okay. Thank you so much. Now, um, let's see. Question number five. How long has Sophia been teaching dancing? Yes, Karina, go ahead. She has been uh, teaching the teaching dancing for uh, six years. Yeah, for six years. Excellent. Now, question number six. How do her students feel about her? Yes, Zahra, please. Sure, they're happy. Yes, they're so happy to have a teacher like her. Good job. Now, question number seven. What does she like most about living in Damascus? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, go ahead. Mm, she likes the, hospita the hospitality of the people. Yes, she likes the people themselves and the hospitality of the people. Thank you so much. That was amazing. Okay, now, we have the reading section, okay? And this reading section is about future careers, okay? Now, as you know, in order to get to your future career or the job you want to accomplish or to want to have, you have to go through many different stages, as I mentioned before, okay? So, this text here is about this idea, okay? Now, what I want you to do is to read the paragraph silently, okay? And after reading each paragraph, we're going to explain the meaning of the main or the highlighted words. Then, you have to give me the main idea of each paragraph, because as you know, reading is Skill. Okay? okay, you have to do it silently. So, go ahead, please, and read the passage silently. Okay, so now who can talk about the first paragraph? Me. Okay, yes, Sarah, before you give me the main idea of the paragraph, can you give me the meaning of aspire? Yes, of course. Um, maybe I think the role of parents' active uh, agents in uh, their uh, children. Okay, before the idea, the meaning of aspire, okay? Yeah. Does it mean to burden or love or at least to seek uh, or to seek to attain a goal. 
seek to attain a goal. Excellent. Thank you so much. And we have another word which is burden. Who can give me the definition or the meaning of burden? Yes, Yasin. Load. Load. Thank you so much. Now going back to you, Zahra, the main idea of the passage is? Yes. Uh, the, lo the role of parents as active uh, agents uh, in their uh, children's future. Yes, in the process of selecting the kid. And do you think, Zahra, that parents always have positive role to play in their children's uh, career selection process? Of course, no. Maybe some parents um, uh, play a negative role in their children's future. Yes, and so some parents may have some negative role, okay? They may affect their children negatively. Now, since you are here students and you are the children of your parents, do you have some pieces of advice to give to your parents? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Ready? I think parents should take into consideration what their ch children want and desire to achieve. Yeah, and they, what their children aspire to achieve or want, desire or desire to do or achieve. Yes. Yes, sir, you have a piece of advice? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I think parents should encourage children and be there for them. Yeah, of course they should. They should listen to their children, be there for them and support them all the way through they accomplish their dreams and their goals. Okay, more, ad more, more advice? No. Do you want? Okay. Now, this is the first paragraph. Now, the second paragraph starts from here and we continue all over here. Okay? So, silently read it, please. Then you give me the definition of the highlighted words and the main idea. Okay? Now, uh, before we start, who can give me the meaning of attitude? This is the third highlighted word. Yes, Hadi? Uh, natural ability or skill. Excellent. Natural ability or skill. Thank you so much. And what about the word swayed? Yes, Karina? Influence. Influence. Good job. Thank you so much. Now, what about the main idea of the paragraph? What's the main idea? Okay, yes? The factors that affect the process of career selection. Yeah, the factors that affect the process of the career selection. Okay? And what do you think, according to this text, what are the three main factors that might affect such a process? Yes, Angie? Uh, aptitude. Aptitude. Uh, peer pressure. And the peer pressure. And remuneration. Remuneration. Good job. Now, talking about remuneration, okay, this is our topic for the, our, our idea for the third paragraph, okay? So, one minute, read it so you can give me the main idea, please. Okay? Now, before before we go to the main, the main idea, we have the word remuneration. Yeah, what does it mean? Yes, Karina. Money paid for work or uh, services. Excellent. The money you get paid for your services or maybe something you have done. Good job. And the main idea. Oh, yes, go ahead. The importance of the car career earnings. Yes, so do you think that money, okay, the money that you're going to get, or the earnings that you are going to get, is something important? Yeah. Is it the most important or is it something important to seek for? Okay, so it's very important, but not the most important. Good job. Now, last but not least, the last paragraph, read it through, please. Okay guys, ready? Okay, so before you give me the main idea again, let's talk about the word demotivation. Yeah, what's the meaning of the word demotivation? Yes, Amy, please. Uh, making someone less able or willing to, uh, to do a job. Very good. This is 
to make someone less eager or willing to do something. Opposite of the motivation. Yes? Motivation. motivation. And it means to make someone more eager and willing. And the main idea? Uh, yep. Go ahead. Uh, the negative impact of the motivation on the child's mental health. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very good. Well done, guys. Okay, now, after reading the text, okay, we have multiple choice questions. And as you know, in the final exam, you're not going to have this no question or the H question. You're going to have multiple choice questions, okay? Now, before reading the questions, you need to read through the text again, okay? You need to read it carefully. And sometimes you need to read between the lines to answer the question. Okay, but don't dive too deep. So, now, number one, most parents nowadays want their children to choose a career. A, their children want, or B, the parents know well about, or C, their children aspire to, or D, that suits the children's ambition. Oh, yes, Nahra? The parents know well about. Okay. Check. Good job. Okay. Now, question number two. A design attitude test can make the process of selecting a career A. More difficult B. Challenging C. Easier or D. Impossible What do you think? Yes, Hadid? C. Easier. Easier. Yeah. Okay. Now, question number three. Modern societies need a. One profession. B. All different kinds of professions. Or C. Four professions only. D. Utility workers only. That's it? B. Uh, B. All different kinds of professions. Good job. Okay. Now, number four. Okay. One of these have negative impact on children's mental health. Now, which one has this negative Impact. Is it A. Encouragement. B. Motivation. C. Dreams. Or D. Demotivation. Yes. Angie. Demotivation. Demotivation. And it's choice D as well. Thank you so much. Brilliant. Okay. Now, vocabulary. As you know, you're going to have some questions related to vocabulary as choosing the Sorry, the suitable word. Now, for number one, parents play a vital in the development of their children. Okay? Is it A, rule, B, role, C, game, or D, burden? Okay, carry on. B. B, role. Good job. Okay. Now, number two, parents should study their of their children to decide their future career. Is it A. Role B. Remuneration C. History or D. Aptitude uh, Yes, Zahra? Aptitude. Of course. The aptitude of their children. Well done. Thank you so much. Now, question number three. There should be reading to help children choose the best job for them. Is it A. Courses Aptitude, C, parents, or D, remuneration. Okay, Hadid? A, courses. Courses. Let's check your answer. Well done. Excellent. Okay, number four. Children nowadays are advised to choose careers based on the of those careers. Okay? Is it A, aptitude, B, role, C, remuneration, or D, courses? Yes. Okay, Zahra? Yes, true sure, remuneration. Remuneration, let's check. Good job. Again, thank you so much. Now, vocabulary as well. Okay, here you have to choose the word family member or the correct derivation of the word. Okay? Now, you might also have one of these in the final exam. So, you know, you need to know how to choose and pick the correct one. One. Individuals have dreams. Is it A, very, B, 
various C. Variety of the varying five. That's it. B. B. Various D. Of course. Various is an adjective and dreams is a noun. Okay? Now, let's check. Good job. Now, number two. Everyone and the first a great deal to make dreams. A. Is it A? Real? B. Really? C. Reality or the real? Zahra? I think we can choose reality. Reality. To make dreams a reality. Okay, so here you have the modifier, so let's see. Good job. Excellent. Now, number three. She hated to say the truth for fear of posing something to him. Is it A. Pain? B. Painful? C. Painless? D. Pain? What do you think, Angie? Uh, a. Pain. Pain? Let's check. Good job. Excellent. Now, number four, we need to people about importance. The importance of healthy diets. Okay. Hadi? A. Educate. Okay, so you have here four choices. Educate, education, educated or educating. Okay? A. Educate. Educate. So we need to educate. And here it's a, an infinitive verb. Good job. Okay. Now, again here, we have a phrasal verbs. Okay? As you know, phrasal verbs are verbs followed by one or two prepositions. Okay? And the meaning of the phrasal verb is not the same as the meaning of the verb by itself. Okay? So, for example, here, number one, I can always to you whenever you need help. Is it A, run me to you, B, reach out to you, C, keep up with you, or D, fit in? Yes, it. B, reach out. Reach out to you. Let's check. Good job. Okay. Now, number two. When I travel to Spain, I try to with the locals. Okay? Is it A, keep with the locals? B, get along with the locals? Or C, run into with the locals? Or D, follow through? Yes. B. B. B, get along. Let's check. Good job. Again. Good brilliant. Okay. Now number three. Nowadays students can the latest news by using the internet. Okay? Is it A get into? B keep up with C run into or D fit in. Okay, Hadi? Keep up with. Keep up with, of course, to be updated. Okay, thank you so much. Let's see. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Number four, our company has financial difficulties this month. Okay? Is it A, run into, which means to face, B, cut into, C, fit into, or D, keep kept up with? Yes, sir? Run into. Yes, okay, let's check. Good job. You're brilliant. Okay. Now, Global forms, okay? This is the for the pronunciation section. Section, sorry. Okay? Now, homophones. Do you know anything about homophones? Okay, so let me tell you something about homophones. So homophones are like friends, okay? They are words that have the same pronunciation. You hear the same word, okay? But both or both words have or have different spelling and different meanings. Okay? Yeah. So, they only sound the same, but they don't have the same spelling or the same meaning. So, number one, which, the first word, way or the second way, should we use? Angie? The first word. Way. Which way? W A Y. Okay, let's check. Good job. Okay. Number two, we need to weigh or weigh. The first or the second word, the goods. Okay, Zahra. Uh, the second one, weigh. To weigh, the second one, W-E-I-G-H. Good job. Okay, now number three, 
no one knows whether or whether it is going to rain or not. Okay, yeah, sir? First one. The first one. W-H-E-T-H-E-R. Let's check. Good job. Again. Okay, carry on. Number four. The weather or weather looks fine tonight. The second. The second one. The weather. Of course. You hear need you need a noun after the definite. So, so here. W E A T H E R. Good job. Let's see. Okay. Well done. Now number five. The cyclist rode or rode his bike. Hadi. The second word. The second word. Let's check. Yeah. And this is the past form of the verb ride. Ride, rode, ridden. Okay. Now number six. Yes. Zahra. He was walking on the road or road. The first one? The first one, L-O-A-D. Okay. Yes. Good job. Thank you. Uh, now, grammar. Okay, so as you know, unit one is about the provision of the present tenses. Okay? And starting, let's start with the present simple tense. Okay? Now, when do we use the present simple tense? As you know, we use the present simple tense to talk about routine, habitual or regular actions. This is number one. Number two, about facts, scientific facts, or maybe general facts. We also personal facts. Three, we use the present simple tense to talk about permanent situations, okay, that are not changing for now. Now, what is the form of the present simple tense? Sentence. What's the form? Hadid? Subject uh, plus, plus R, uh, with S or without S yes. plus complement. The complement. Good job. Of course, he, you add S to the verb if the subject is he, she, or it. Okay, or it. The third personal pronoun. Okay? Now, present continuous, on the other hand, is not like present simple. It is a bit different. Okay? So, we use the present continuous to talk about things happening at the moment of speaking. Okay, for now, for example, now I'm speaking. Okay, now we're explaining the lesson and you are listening to me. Now, we use it also to talk about future plans, okay, or arrangements. Three, we use it for or with temporary situations that are lasting just for a short period of time. Okay, now, the form of the present continuous. Okay, ng? Uh, subject plus verb B plus verb ing. Of course, verb B and is R. Okay, and these are, we call it the auxiliary or helping verb. And the main verb is in the present participle form. Of course, now as you know, some verbs can never be used with the ing form unless in this, like in specific cases. For example, Zahra. Love, like. Think, understand, and another verb. Yeah, so thinking verb or verbs about the thoughts, emotion verbs, okay, like hate, love, and also verbs that describe the appearance, like she looks tired, uh, the flower smells nice. Thank you so much. Now, the next two pair of grammar rules are present perfect simple, present perfect continuous, okay? Now, as you can see here, we use the present perfect simple to talk about completion. Okay, so the action has is completed. Whereas on the present perfect continuous, we focus on continuation of the verb and the activity itself. Okay? Now, with the present perfect simple, we focus, it focuses on the present result. Okay? So you have to focus on what you can see before you, the result. Now, the form of the present perfect simple is of okay, subject plus uh, have or has plus past participle. Yeah, past participle or verb free. Okay? Now, the form of the present perfect continuous is yes, Hadil. Subject plus have or has plus been plus present participle. Yes, verb with ing. Thank you so much. Now, 
we have to compare between the present perfect and the simple past. Okay? So the main difference between the two tenses is about the definite time. Okay? Now which of these tenses talk about a specific time in the past? Present perfect or simple past? Specific point or specific time in the past? Present perfect. The simple past tense, okay? When we say, for example, yesterday, okay, or two days ago, or in 2022, okay? So you have a specific or definite time in the past, okay? Whereas the present perfect tense doesn't focus or we don't have a defined or definite, sorry, definite time in the past, okay? Now, also the present perfect refers to unfinished action, Okay, whereas the simple past refers to finished actions in the past. The form of the present perfect we have already mentioned it. Okay, yes, sir. Subject, verb, have or has, yes. plus uh, past participle. Of course, have or has are the auxiliary verbs. Okay, and here you have verb 3. Why? While in the simple past tense we have subject, verb 2, and the complement of the rest of the sentence. Okay? Now. With that being explained, okay, you're going to have a, an exercise and in the final exam, you're going to have something similar to this, okay, as well. Multiple choice. So, number one, we Egypt. Yes, sir? Like. We like Egypt. Of course, this is a state verb. Can be used in the present continuous. Okay. Number two, have this year. Okay, can you know? C. C, are you working hard this year? Let's check. Good job. Are you working hard this year? So this is temporary. Okay? Good job. Number three, the onions are ready. And I, them. Okay, Angie. C, A, have. Yes, made. yes. Okay, miss. So I have killed them. Let's check. Good job. I have killed them. Now, number four. I jet last night. Yes. Zahra. I saw. Yes. So, option C. I saw. Let's check. Good job. And number four. You ever to Spain. Yes, sir. C. Have you ever been to Spain? Yes. Have you ever been to Spain? It means have you ever visited yes. Spain. Okay. Let's check. Good job. Thank you so much. Now, also in the exam, you might have a question related to finding states, okay? And they can be e related either to grammar or punctuation marks, capitalization, okay, using commas, uh, maybe question mark, full stops, okay? And they can be about the spelling, the way you write the words, okay? So, let's now, I want you to look at these sentences and think of them for one minute, okay? Ready? Okay, yes, let's go. Sally is lying in the sun. Where's the mistake? Uh, lying. Lying. We okay. changed the I-E into Y when we, add, we added I-N-G. When we add I-N-G. So, lying. This is the mistake. Let's check. Good job. Thank you so much. Okay. Number two, I am going to the exam to start tomorrow. Yes, Karina. What is the mistake? I know. Yes, so we should use I know instead of unknowing because I know the verb know is a state verb. Okay? Let's see. Good job. Oh, number three. Okay, Zahra. I live in a large flat in Madrid. Where is the mistake? Of course, Madrid. Yes. Why? What is the letter B? Capital letter. Capital M. Okay, because so Madrid is yes. let me say. Of course. Okay, it should be capitalized because it's a name of a city. Okay? Now number four, they are sitting on the sofa. Where's the mistake? Angie? Uh, sitting. Sitting, let's see. Okay. Uh, double T. Yes, we double the consonant. Letter because it's preceded by a short vowel sound. A. Sitting. Let's see. Good job. Okay. Number five. Okay. Yes, sir. Try this. This summer, I work very hard because the exams are just around the corner. 
I work. They are near. I work. Okay, what should it be? I am working. Good job. Because we were talking about this summer. So it's a temporary action happening just this summer. It's shining now. Okay, so I work. I'm working. Good. Okay, yes, Hadi. Number six. Are you liking that? Uh, do. Uh, uh, R is a mistake. And liking. Do. Okay. And do you like? Excellent. Do you like? Thank you so much. That was really amazing. Okay, so the last section we have today is about writing. Okay, and the paragraph here you should write a composition or a paragraph in which you describe you describe the job you want after graduation. And what kind of challenges do you expect? to face in your future career, okay? Now, of course, as you know, in the final exam, you're going to have a parallel paragraph, okay? Something that you have talked about in the classroom, maybe discussed as well, or even maybe you practice, and they are all related to the topics of the units you are studying this year, okay? Now, what you have to bear in mind is that the paragraph should consist of three Parts. Yes. Do you know the three parts? Yes, Sahara. The paragraph consists of the first one and uh, the education. Yeah, the introduction. The yes. So we should there should be an introduction. Yeah. The introduction. Uh, okay. You know why we use the introduction to draw the attention of the readers that we know what we're talking about. Okay. To so draw their attention to the main idea. Okay. Finally, the conclusion. Yes, of course. So after the introduction, you have the body paragraph, and in the body paragraph, you have to answer four, three, four questions mentioned already on your exam paper. And the conclusion, you have to conclude it with something you can add yes. about it. Okay. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure for me. To be here with you and thank you for participating in this lesson with me.